We've been fulfilling orders all weekend long. These are all of my orders for Black Friday. I'm really excited. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Judith and this is Urban Wanderlust. For those of you that are new and for those of you that have been following us from the beginning, welcome back. So today is Monday, Cyber Monday to be exact, and we've been fulfilling orders all weekend long. As you can see, we were also running a clearance on our 16 ounce jars and this is the last of them and I need to ship out. Um, so those are completely sold out. We're still getting in orders for Cyber Monday today, so those we'll get to later, but everything else, we're gonna go ahead and package those up so we can ship them out as soon as possible. Probably by tomorrow, I'll schedule a pickup with the post office or UPS, whichever one is the cheapest. Let's get started packing today's orders. all the boxes putting them together and putting all of the packing slips inside of them so that I know which order is going into what box now we're gonna get started grabbing all of the product wrapping it and putting it in the box sorry I'm so out of breath <laughs> I didn't have them in stock I have to make a mystery candle and two more lavender so we'll pack all these up and get those ready to be made and we'll ship out those orders the following day
done packaging up all the orders. I laid everything out here and now I'm gonna print out shipping labels. What I did was I wrote the customer's name and the order number and weight on the outside of the box. Once I print out the shipping labels, I'll stick them right on top and these should be ready to go. A few of them I'm holding off on shipping because uh, so the customers reached out to me saying, hey, can I add something last minute? So it's a good thing I didn't rush to ship these out right away yesterday. So this big box is going to France. This person ordered 10 candles. So that's really cool. It might not look like much, but we did really good this Black Friday. Most people ordered four or five um, items. Some even asked to hold off on shipping until Christmas, which I do offer and I don't mind doing. So there are a couple of orders missing from here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the weight of each box and start creating shipping labels for them. This is actually my first time processing orders this way. Usually I just pack things one box at a time and then weigh it and put the box, put the shipping label on it. But I wanted to try this method just to see if it was a little bit smoother. I don't mind it, it was okay. I guess if I'm getting this volume of orders on a daily basis, then maybe it'll work. But for me, processing it this way with my limited amount of space, like for me, this is limited. You guys might be looking at this if you're making candles from your kitchen thinking, no girl, you have a lot of room but it's a lot more room than what I used to have, but um, I still don't have the room to just like lay out all these orders all the time, you know? So I don't know if I would do it like this always, you know, I think just processing one order at a time and boxing it up and putting the shipping labels easier for me because then I can just get it out of the studio. But yeah, so let's get started with the shipping labels. because it's cheaper. I always try to use the cheapest shipping service. So these two are going to the post office. Um, and this one, I didn't do a shipping label because they decided to add two more candles to their order. So I have to set this aside. Put this over here. But everything else is ready to go. UPS, right? Yeah. UPS, UPS, UPS. That can go. And this is my international box. I'm just switching this customer's order from the smaller box into a bigger one because she decided to add two more candles last minute. She sent me a message on Instagram asking if she can add two more and I'm like, of course, I love it when people do that. It's great. And she also included a little note in her order, which I thought was really cute to me saying, this is my second order because I loved everything in the first one. Thanks for the Black Friday sale, Judith. More YouTube videos, please. Obviously she watches us on YouTube. Hey Sandy, what's up? Um, I'm packaging up your order really good here. She actually opted to skip the box. So I have an option where I do offer gift boxes for some of my candles, but oops. Oh yeah, you can see me, I'm cut off, whatever. So I do offer boxes for some of my candles, but you know that I'm getting rid of the boxes anyway. But I do give my customers the option to skip the box and go green if they want to. So that's what she did. So I'm just gonna transfer everything here. So I just found out it's Sandy's birthday. So I'm gonna give her a free tote. The It's from the birthday collection. It's eat cake like it's your birthday. So by the time this goes up, she would have already gotten it. So happy birthday, Sandy. I hope you had a good day. Put this in. 